I am majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Well, guys, one of the most exciting things we're going to have an opportunity to see in this one is the throwing arm of that catcher. He absolutely has a cannon. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. If Joe Random will dig in now, coming off one of the best offensive performances we've seen in a World Series game for quite some time. Oh, really just a game for the ages there. He put on a one-man show, and you can bet he probably won't see the same kind of pitches that he saw last time out. He'll be a lot more careful when he's at the dish. Hit hard on the ground to second, and the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. And here's a case on the mound where he's trying to sneak a first-pitch fastball by him, but he was having none of that at the plate. He just sends it right back where it came from. Number 41 will stand in now for the first time coming off, well, nothing short of a dynamic performance last time out. Well, it makes you wonder how they're going to attack him here in this game. I would bet that they're a lot more cautious with him. First offering on its way. Runners off for second. Oh. Pitch misses low. The throw no, down. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. We've seen him use his speed more than once here this postseason, and he's on the run again here as he gets into second with the stolen base. The 1 0 delivery. And he misses again, 2 0. Looks like he's not going to see anything here. Yeah, I don't think so either. They gave him two shots to see if he'd go out of the zone to try to chase, and after that, I'm thinking they should just put him on. Oh, strike and it's two and one. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. Three and one. Is this a situation where they're just being careful with the base open here? It sure looks that way, but. It's still early enough where you don't want to put too many guys on base and risk a big inning. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. Into the box. Rolando Navarro. He'll get to take his first cuts here. He's got it. He's up with it. The throw. It it's in time. No way. That was awesome. Catcher. Bobby Jones. So striding in, number 20, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw in yep. time and the side is retired. One hit, one left. Second inning upcoming here on the south side. Bucks out in front, one to nothing. Joe Random is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. And you know, guys, I Joe love a guy like this Random. leading off an inning for you. He makes good contact and he can run. Into the windup and the pitch. Sliced hard on the ground. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And a good effort yeah. as he's able to gather it in and make the play for the first out. Well, I always used to think that the Number best thing one about one. playing second base is that you've got the shortest throw on the field. And this ball is just waffled right at him. But he's able to knock it down, keep it in front of him, keep his... Stepping in and ready for another shot, Darren Cole. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And Matt, with the double play in order, they'll obviously be looking to induce another ground ball out of him right here. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw way late, and he's in there easily at second. And when you've got a pitcher out there that you think might still be a little distracted from the home run earlier in the inning, you can use that to your advantage. And he does that right there by taking second. 
Steven Quintero. We'll come in now to lead things off against our starter who probably wishes he had a mulligan to use on that last inning. Yeah, he was doing just fine up until the last time he took the mound. He's got to hope that that was just an aberration or he might not stick around to see another in. Hit out towards second. Ren Throw on to first in time, one away. Now batting. First baseman, Rolando Navarro. Joe Random will come forward now in a great RBI chance here with runners at the corners. And these opportunities have been Random. few and far between so far. They've got to make something happen soon or this game might just get away from them. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. And the run is in to score from third. Around third and being waved on home. The relay throw. And now they'll at least he's get it out, out of third here as he's tagged out. But two runs. Joe Random will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something Random. out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. Belted high and deep into right center. Back goes Ozuna. Gone! So it's a two-run shot to right center. His sixth of this series. And this will make things interesting at this point. It's now a 6-5 game. And this is what you expect when you make it to the postseason. I mean, you expect the guys that have carried you all year to keep on producing. And sure enough, he comes through again and delivers a no-doubter here. Marcelo Zuna digs in to lead off the bottom of the eighth inning. And so far in this ballgame, he hasn't even been on base yet. So we'll see if he can make an adjustment here. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Random fields it clean. A quick yeah. out number one. Up next for Chicago. Second baseman, Victor Gonzalez. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The White Sox win it 6-5. to five. Good night from Chicago.